The Vida Widget is um, an offer for victims of domestic abuse um, who can, through clicking on the widget, find help and in a secure and untraceable way. Hi, I'm Carolina Kaiser. I'm delivery manager at Turbine Kreuzberg and I wanted to use this year's breakout week to help victims of domestic abuse. Uh, everybody calls me Robert and I'm a developer and yes, I think that's enough, right? I had the idea um, during the COVID lockdowns, I heard a lot about domestic violence in newspapers and also in my neighborhood. And yeah, this made me really sad because it must be very cruel to be locked in with an abuser in, in a home where no witnesses are. And um, so, yeah, I wanted to somehow find a technical solution that can be widespread. And um, so we used this year's breakout week sessions um, to find a solution and we made it up with the widgets. Well, we have a lot of um, creative projects on our breakout week. But for the first time, I thought like this is a kind of a project that has some impact if it works. And also I was seeing it realistic to manage to do this in the, in the time box that we have. VIDA is an acronym for Victims of Domestic Abuse and also is uh, the meaning for life in several languages like Portuguese and Spanish. And somehow we like the idea that it also means life. And so we decided to use Vida as the name for the widget. If you, if you click on the widget, it opens a small window on the website. And um, there are provided several information, like the number of a local NGO nearby to your place, where you now at the moment are. And um, it also provides um, the explanation for the international hand signal because uh, we decided to use the international hand signal, which goes like this. It's um, from the Canadian Women's Foundation. And um, yeah, if you are not a victim, you might also click on the widget and there you get explained what you can do to help a victim if somebody signals to you. It's basically a JavaScript based widget that you can install on any website by inserting a inserting a snippet and it will render automatically on your website. And based on your configuration, you can adapt it to be more compatible with your web design that you have. So you can, for instance, place the button to open the widget on multiple parts, like top right, top left, and so on. But you can also place it in a much more a discreet way as a normal link, let's say in the footer or in the header, where somebody can click on it and start using the widget. So we definitely have plans for the future. Um, currently, we are gathering contacts to several NGOs worldwide. This is the nice thing about the web-based solution. Um, it's working everywhere. So um, we definitely want to contact as many as possible NGOs. And um, in the next part, we will also try to um, implement a new feature within the widget, um, which means that if you click on a certain button in the, within the widget, it opens a map that shows with pinpoints um, places where you can go nearby your place. Um, for example, an NGO police station, maybe doctors who are aware about the topic and also can offer help. Um, but we, yet we didn't find a solution that is untraceable. Um, so we are still working on it, but in the first step, we want to spread the widget to as many as possible NGOs. Installation process is go to the GitHub repository, take a JavaScript snippet that is referenced there or shown there, copy it to your HTML, and hopefully that's it. The only thing is that you will need to have the right institution. So either you go to the GitHub repository and find the country that you are in and use the, com uh, the suggested configuration for that country, which is basically always the same snippet, but with different configurations. You see it right there. Or configure it yourself and place it on your website. Hopefully there is no extra steps that you need to take as we kept it very compatible.